15 right. minutes for a trailer. My lord. Oh, uh, yep. I thought it was going to be like a few minutes worth of a yeah, trailer, mm. but well, oh, see, listen through it. Right, I'll um, stay quiet and eat while this was playing. This is probably the first time seeing Umineko because you never heard of it. I mean, you kind of actually, you, I think both of you have heard of it, but never read it, so. Yeah. It's quite... Scary. Oh, I see what they did there in red. Mm. If you look at the letters, it's what did it spell out for the first sentence? Beatrice. Beatrice. She's one of the main characters, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I see what they did there. Just... That's, that's funny. Wait. R I S E. Vice Saga. Saga. Vice Saga Inn. Vice Saga Inn. Hmm. Why is this again? Oh, I oh I see what you mean by that. Holy it. shit. Yeah, Beatrice rises. Yeah, good point. Yeah, good good eye right there. Holy shit. Beatrice rises again. We call it a revival. <laughs> oh shit. I imagine that'll make more sense to anyone who's read it. Yeah, that's what a tease. An associate with Witch Hunt and Catbox Creative. You who seek the Golden Land on the first twilight, offer up the six chosen by the key as sacrifices. Opens. Didn't the guy mention that they they dubbed the opening? Is this that? Is this the opening? Yeah, this is the opening. Wait. I'm like 90% certain that's Emily. Holy moly. If it, that's... Wait. If that's Emily, holy crap. I'm wondering how much. I'm really curious about how much they paid her to sing this. I'm pretty actually no, I'm, I could be wrong, but that's actually yeah, not. This isn't a. This wasn't a scam. They were genuinely trying to make this happen and trying to make a quality project uh, product. But again, they can make it happen, most yeah. likely. It's actually pretty. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good old, uh, English cover of it. Not gonna lie. say it's a good opening i don't have uh, any prior comments of it 
feel like they made. Is it just me or they made the assets look more animated? I could be wrong. October fifth, nineteen eighty six. I never knew they had a storehouse all the way over here. What, what on earth is that? When Ava looked in the direction Cannon was pointing, the spectacle in front of her left her speechless. Okay, so the narration is voice. Oh, God. Man, that's... Okay. I don't think it's the narr... I don't think the narration is by one person, though. I think it's... I think that Would, do they do it on a chapter by chapter basis? I think it's like I think so. I also although I thought that the narration is like based on like the the character's perspective, like you know, who's talk who is uh taking perspective of who. So hmm. the entrance to the storehouse was covered by a large metal shutter. And there on the door filthy from exposure to the wind and rain there was something that looked like a strange dark red liquid mucus or maybe it was paint mucus. but the rain had caused it to drip down like fresh blood leaking from an open wound and the market form seemed to suggest uh, something get to that truly one. ominous two circles were drawn on the shutter with the design inside that looked like a cross. Before Wait a minute. If it's going to be fully voiced, that means like people to, can put this on like an auto. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were going to release it as a podcast, weren't they? Yeah, you, 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 know, you just, yeah, if they boot up the thing and they, they, just, they can just like sit there with their arms crossed and listen to it. <laughs> like this. I don't know if that's even a game, though. You're just sitting there and listen. You, you're just listening through the story. To be honest, I'd probably consume more visual novels if they were all dubbed in English, because then I would be able to just, yeah, put them on a second monitor, turn them onto autoplay, and then you just listen to them. But obviously, as I don't speak Japanese, that's a bit impossible. I mean, yeah, this isn't the first time um, I've seen, like, a, a visual novel, like, you're trying to, make, like, get, like, English dubbed, like, it's, I'm, like, as far as I know, it, like, just, anime gets like english dubbed but they have to like get the prior uh the fuck i the, the, well they they got it you know it's a whole different beast though because an anime it's limited to like 20 minutes long maybe 12 episodes maybe 24 episodes but there's not that much dialogue in an anime compared to a visual novel like mm -hmm. even the Lord of the Rings films, as long as they are, don't contain nearly as much as the Lord of the Rings books. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I want to get to the part with the. Uh... Actually, I wonder. What, I wonder what Battler sounds like. Hold on. I want to skip this. I don't want to watch the whole thing because I don't want to like. Yeah. I mean, technically, cool. I technically I could content if I want to watch the whole thing, but I do want to know what like George sounds like. As a board. <laughs> Abandoning the serving cart, the three of them dashed toward the entrance. When George caught a glimpse of them through the rain-spattered window. Where are they going in such a hurry? That's weird. Do you think there was some kind of accident outside? Oh god, I remember. Well, I say we follow. He's a voice everything. Wait a minute, Brittany Karbowski. That's a voice I recognize. She was, um, yeah, she was in Angel Beats. She was the main girl in that, wasn't she? I think her name is Yuri? Yeah, that sounds about right. The uh, I, I don't know, some darkish redhead. But she used to be like in Purple. everything back then. Yeah, I think this is like the first introduction when it comes to like that. I was watching Angel Beats or something, <laughs> <laughs> and I heard, and I was like, "Wait a minute, did I heard the voice before?" I've man, I haven't heard her but voice. She's got like, a distinct voice. So like I, you can recognize it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like it, it, I mean, I don't. The one thing that kind of like annoys me a bit is like the when the voice gets reused a bunch of times and I will keep hearing the, the same repetitive like the vocal. Yeah. You gotta have That's good vocal range. 
which is like yeah. the one thing that does the English dub ever lack the vocal range? I could be wrong. Depends on your actor. Yeah. 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 yeah I can agree. Yeah. Side. Well, I say we follow him. It's no fun if we're the only ones left out, right? Well. Uh. I guess his voice is okay. I mean, the thing about Balor is like he, he usually tends he yeah he usually tends to have like a pretty optimistic like childish like voice. So mm. if it fits, then for some reason, Battler's bright, cheery tone felt very indiscreet. But George and Jessica couldn't deny that they were a little concerned after seeing the adults run off into the rain. So they got to their feet and prepared to leave. Wait up a sec. I'll go get us some umbrellas first. Thanks. Come to think of it, I'm kind of surprised Mr. Genji didn't have umbrellas for those two. <laughs> it not so he's going to be pretty steamed. <laughs> hey, Maria, you coming too, or are you going to stay here? Oh, God, I'm really curious how what Maria sounds like. I remember, like, I made jokes to where, like, Maria comes off as, like, autistic, <laughs> which is a bit too much but if you can tell by the noises then you could probably get understand why here and watch tv mm, wanna watch tv she'll be all right wait i'd say off of just that character what? kid oh not character kids kids characters are quite hard to get right if they sound too childish and kid like then they can be quite annoying wait a minute the Japanese dub of Maria comes off as kind of annoying, though. She she makes like. You coming too, or are you gonna stay here and watch TV? Mm, wanna watch TV? Wait, she didn't. That's a really weak. Ugh. It Ooh. usually comes off as over exaggerated. It was like ugh or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. I could. Oh God, I I don't really fucking. I feel like. I feel like the VA that is doing Maria can really like. Uh, I think the VA is having a difficult time trying to resonate the fucking like. I mean, to be fair, I think Japan has a higher tolerance level for like, um, I guess kid characters to do high voices and do weird voices and make strange noises that you might not necessarily hear in real life, whereas I think. Western culture is a bit less is a bit less used to that, so it might come across as strange. Personally, I'd rather have just I'd rather the car the kid not be too annoying. Honestly, you don't love brat voice. No. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, um, like whether it's like Jap J Japanese dub or English dub, like there is like viewers that are going to get annoyed by like some kid voice like it, it depends on the vocal range like too it's pretty subjective really yeah it's a difficult line to tread being childish without being annoying like i can understand that in some anime there's going to be like characters that come off as annoying but it's also pretty subjective depending on like, whether the va it's not the va's fault really it's it if anything it's like it's a... it can be um it can be the va's fault it could be the voice direction's fault it could be a lot of things. It could just be the character is supposed to be annoying. I guess, like, whoever is... I guess, like, if the manga wants the character to be, like, annoying as shit, then, yeah, I could understand yeah. that. But, yeah. Again, my, my anime... The Japanese media is subjective. You can't... It's... People have different preferences, you know? Mm-hmm. And that and that same applies with like TV animation too. Like it's like, you know, your your various Saturday morning cartoons. So <sighs> she'll be all right on her own for a few minutes. We'll be back soon, Maria. Wait for us here, okay? <laughs> George's voice seemed deeper. You know, a good example of a child voice actor. Well, I didn't know if it's a child voice actor, but I think it was. It worked well is in Format Alchemist, and I'm not talking about Alphonse Elric, even though he was a good one. It would be 
Um, Hugh's daughter. Shit, what's she called? Hugh. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, I'll, I'll link it. But what's really... I don't know. The only thing creative I know about the voice acting for like Full Metal Alchemist is that when they did the voice for Alphonse, you know how Alphonse is like his soul was like um, bound to like a big ass suit of armor and shit. Yeah. So the 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 voice actor for Alphonse, the the one in the big suit of armor, has to get a bowl over the the head to make it sound like it's. Mm. You get what I mean? They gotta use like yeah. props or some shit to make this so it all like to uh, what's the word? Modify the voice. You get what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I gotta use like a bowl or a cup <laughs> for <sighs> Alphonse to make it so Alphonse <sighs> sounds like <laughs> it was. It's so great. I love it. <laughs> anyway, we ran after Jessica into the rose garden. Cold raindrops biting at our skin like insects. It felt like the wind was getting stronger with every step we took, and the ominous sound of thunder began to rumble. An eerie presence hung in the air, like some unseen force was watching us, silently urging us to turn back. Jess, is there something over this way? I'm pretty sure there's a shed for gardening tools or something. Why would they run off to a place like that? Sure enough, the three cousins eventually spotted an old, gloomy-looking storehouse beyond the garden hedges. They could see Genji, Nanjo, Kanon, Ava, and Hideyoshi standing in the doorway, looking as if... I already know this scene, but, you know... Yeah, uh... well, just get an impression then of the voice actors. You're the yeah. one who knows the characters best, so you know if they're decent. But but yeah, um, this is based. Yeah, I I already know what's what it is in the. Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, this is just the credits. Okay. Well, it makes sense. I don't. I don't think I. I think this is more than enough to uh, cover the cover this because it's just that it's showing the uh eighteen minute trailer of showing the uh. The first episode, basically, the spoilers. It covers the uh, witnessing yeah, it, like a, the first six uh, their family members murdered. So it's a proof of concept, proof of quality. But the qual, well, the fan, well, the fan project does exist. Is just you got to you got to put a fuck ton of effort. To uh, do, I, I don't know about fuck ton of effort, but this is a bit too ambiguous for a side project. If you ask me, like I'm sorry, like it, the the visuals are great. The uh, uh, it's fine. It's basically like a visual novel where you just like you put put it on autoplay and you just you know, and then you just play your game or some shit. Mm. So. It's like an audio book, basically. It feels like it. So Yeah, but when you can look over it. Oh. Uh, that is a good question. Yeah. 